we will discuss the implementation of a Boolean expression with multiplexer. Now, in this particular problem, here is the this expression is given. The variables are A, B, C, D, and these are in, given in the uh, summation of products forms, SOP forms, and these are the main terms. And that expression should be implemented with a 16 is to 1 multiplexer. The first we will prepare a truth table for this Boolean expression. And we know that very well, the how to prepare the truth table. That because M1 is present here, therefore corresponding is corresponding is uh, M1 representing zero, A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C, C equal to 0, and D equal to 1. And that corresponding and these things are 1. 2 is present. This is the 1. Output is 1. 5 is present. Here, out, output is 1. 6 is present. That output is 1. And very very easily we can say, if we, if we convert it into a, uh, any particular row, if we convert it into a decimal, and that number, if it is present here, then we'll put it 1. That is in a very simplest way we can find it out. That as example, here it is, here, here it is 12. The decimal equivalent is 12, 1, 1, 0, 0. And 12 is present here. 12 is present here. Therefore, we put 1. And that is, is 13. And 13 is also 1101 1, is decimal equivalent to 13. 13 is present here. We are putting 1 here. And it is the simplest way to uh, prepare a table. Very firstly, we can prepare the table. And remaining are remaining will put it 0. Therefore, we first we prepare the truth table here. Then we come to the multiplex. 16 is to multiplexer here. 16 is to multiplexer, we know that if A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0, and D equal to 0, output is D0. If A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0, D equal to 1, output is D1. And here also we can see one, uh, find, we can see one uh, thing that if we convert into a decimal, that means A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0, D equal to 1, that means decimal equivalent, to, decimal equivalent is 1 and output is becoming D1. Therefore, we can very simplified way we can say that we convert into a decimal and then what is the, we, we look at the subscript of D and that will be the output. As for example, 0, 0, 1, 1, A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 1, D equal to 1 and decimal equivalent is 3 and therefore output will be D3. That we know also in case of a multiplexer. Now, how to implement it? The implementation you can see here that when implementation, one interesting thing, how to, why we are, we, we are assigning that, that I am going to explain now, that here you can see one interesting thing, when A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0, D equal to 0, output is 0. And here also, when A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0, and D equal to 0, out, output in the case of a multiplexer is D, D0. Therefore, if I assign D0 as 0, then I am getting the desired output. Again, another example, I will take it here. I, if A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0, D equal to 1, output is 1. And here, in the same cases, same case A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0, and D equal to 1, D equal to 1, then output is, in the case of a multiplexer, output is D1. Therefore, if we assign assign that D1 is 1, because output is 1, D1 is 1, then we are getting the uh, correct, we, we are getting the desired output. Another example I will take as if A, if both the cases, if A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 1, and D equal to 0, we are get, we, output is 1. Therefore, here also A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 1 and D equal to 0, out, output is D2. If therefore, if we assign 1 is D2 is 1, therefore, we will get the desired output. Therefore, after the, whatever we got in the truth table here, serially, this, is, this will be assigned with, and whatever we got in the uh, truth table here, therefore, this will assign a D0, 
these will assign in D1, D2, D3, D4, D5 as serially will assign up to D15. And to, to that, what I have done here, you can you can look at that. That is the same. Uh, you, you can so that you can you can see that this is the uh, I, I have assigned it to the serially to that D not to D15 here. You say serially it's been assigned. That is the D not is assigned to D not. This is D1. This is D2. And as as I am going here, this is I am assigning to. D15 and and this way we'll get it we'll get the desired output and why we're assigning just I explained here but very uh, without this truth table also you can do that uh, without in that case you directly directly you can see this is the M1 what the subscript M1 the subscript the subscripts of D1 you put one here two subscript of D2 and it is two uh, that is you put one five put five one six put one nine put one twelve you put one thirteen you put in that way and uh, the things can be done very first and 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 whatever I, why I take in the truth table example because this is the why we are assigning why we are assigning this and why we are Assigning uh, zero one that I wanted to explain, and that is the reason I have I have taken the with the help of a two treble and showed that this is the uh, this why uh, we are assigning this. But very if you want to do very fast, you can do whatever I told here. You can do it and assign uh, with the if the you consider the consider this if the subscript you consider them is a subscript, and if it is present, if you put one, and you can do it very fast, and that that is the things how can we realize a, a boolean function in a 16 is to 1 multiplexer.